Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the Lamy's theorem that is, I would be just giving the formula of Lamy's theorem and this is without proof. So, let's get started. Now, Lamy's theorem states that, I'll write the statement. So, Lamy's theorem states that if three coplanar concurrent forces are acting at a point on a body in equilibrium, for that I will draw the diagram. If three forces are acting at a point, concurrent forces on this body, as can be shown here. Since all are pull type of forces, they have to be treated as positive. If they would have been of push type, we would have taken them as negative. Now, the angle between F2 and F3, theta 1, here there is theta 2 and this is theta 3. So, it states that if there are three coplanar, these are coplanar and concurrent forces acting at the same point and the body is in equilibrium under the action of these forces then the magnitude of each force so mathematically each force like for example if i start with f1 is proportional to the sine of the angle between the other two forces so sine of angle between the other two forces like if i take f1 then the angle between f2 and f3 that is theta 1 so, I have to take this angle, so theta 1. Similarly, when I take F2, in the denominator we have sine of angle between F1 and F3 that is theta 2, that is the other two forces. Similarly, when I take F3, then the angle should be taken between F1 and F2 which is theta 3. So, sine of theta 3. So, with the help of this result, we can calculate all the forces, but at least we should know all the angles and any one of the given force so we can calculate the remaining forces. So, that was the short description regarding Lamy's theorem and I am explaining again, here I am just giving the end result of the Lamy's theorem and not the entire proof and this theorem would be used only if there are three concurrent forces. If there are four forces, Lamy's theorem cannot be applied. And even if there are two forces, then only it is, then also it is not applicable. We have to go for parallelogram law of forces. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.